Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video. Today I'm going to be creating a Halloween card using the Best Witches stamp set from Art Impressions. This stamp set actually comes with an action wobbler and is meant for that additional stamp to be stamped and then put on top of her rear end so it wobbles. It's super funny, but I'm not going to be using that aspect of the stamp set today. Instead, I'm going to be stamping it flat and then watercoloring the scene. So I'm stamping the Witch stamp in Versafine Black Onyx ink, and I'm using my Misty stamping tool so I can get a really good impression. I'm glad I did this because I needed to stamp it twice. I'm also stamping onto some Arches watercolor paper. This is cold press paper, so it has a little bit of texture. And this is my first time really trying out the Arches paper. I've used the Arches hot press paper before. This is my first time using the cold press, and I was really impressed with it. I really, really love it, so I think I'll be using more of it. So after I had that scene, or the witch stamped, I took my black pen and I just went over some of the solid black areas that needed a little bit more ink on there to make it look filled in. It was mostly just on that really intricate pattern. So then I used my heat tool just to heat set this a little bit because I did stamp that twice and Versafine is a pigment ink and I wanted to make sure it was completely dry. So I've taped my piece down to a watercolor board. I'm going to be using some American Journey tube watercolor paints for this, but you could use any watercolor medium you want. Any of them would be great. So I'm going to speed up the painting and turn on some music and I'll catch you when I'm done.
So after all of that painting was done and dried, I wanted to make that sky look like there were stars. So I decided to take some white gouache, which is, uh, it's almost like watercolor paint, it's just it's more opaque. So I wanted to take some white gouache and kind of splatter that over that sky area. So I stamped the witch on some paper and really roughly cut it out, and then put another piece of paper over that ground area. This is just going to mask off uh, the witch and the ground while I add the stars. So I'm using some Holbein or Holbein, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, permanent white gouache, and I just mix that with a little bit of water, and then put that on the edge of an acrylic block, and I'm using my paintbrush to splatter white little droplets all over that sky area. I'm just running that brush right off the edge of the acrylic block, and it gives me much more control over the paint splatter, and it's a little bit less messy. So after I removed that mask, you can see that it only got those white spots in the areas where I wanted it. So I dried that off until it was completely dry. And then I, uh, then it was time to take off the mask. So I used a Xyron adhesive eraser for this. You could definitely use your fingertips. I've used my fingertips in the past when I use this monotone masking, but I was being extremely cautious. Um, I had never tested out the monotone masking on top of this Arches watercolor paper, and I. I really wanted to make sure I didn't tear the paper. Um, before I did all that masking, I was sort of winging it. I had no idea what I was going to be doing with this scene. So I just wanted to make sure that as I removed the masking, that it wouldn't uh, alter or destroy the painting I'd already done. So I wanted to add some additional stars that were a little bit brighter. So I used my white Jelly Roll pen for that. And I just added little tiny dots and just other areas. I started to remove the watercolor piece from the board here. So I took the tape off and then I realized I wanted to add a little bit more of a shadow underneath the witch. So I added that and dried it some more and then removed it and trimmed it down to four and a half by six and a half. Now I'm going to create a five by seven card base and I want it to be a top folding card. And because I don't have cardstock that is 14 inches tall, I had to take two pieces of cardstock and make it into a five by seven. So one piece was five by seven and the other was five by seven and a half. And then I scored it at half an, uh, half an inch. So I have that little flap. And then I added some adhesive right onto that flap. I'm using a Tombow Extreme Adhesive Runner. It's super, super strong. And it holds up great for making card bases like this. So I just put that other five by seven piece right on top and then folded down that flap. And sometimes it kind of um, moves that other piece down a little bit. So I did have to trim it up so it was a perfect fit. Put some foam adhesive behind the watercolor piece and then very carefully applied that to the card front. So this is almost, well, essentially one layer card. Super simple to put together. However, all the fun is in the painting. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was super fun for me. Um, I love this scene and that greeting just kills me every time. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching today's video. On screen, I have two Halloween cards that I made this year for you guys if you want to check them out. And that third video on the right is actually last month's mail call. Um, I encourage you all to create Halloween cards. So if you'd like to see some Halloween cards from other card makers just like you, click on the mail call video and you'll be able to see those. You can catch me at my blog at kwarnerdesign.com and on social media at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.